Okay. 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 Go ahead, Sam. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now I'm going to go over the quiz that you all took last week. Uh, let me go ahead and share. Okay. So last week quiz. Uh, so this is the last week quiz. Um, okay. So go through. Uh, I want you to go through it. And then if you have any question, just go ahead and ask me. Okay. So I did work out number one, two, and three. So if you look at my math there, if you have any question, just go ahead. And if you want me to go over a little bit more details on it, let me know. All else, I just go ahead and just show you the answer and just write it down. So that way you have something to study from because you're going to use some of these information to study from. So that way prepare you for the final exam at the end of the semester, okay? So make sure you understand how to do the uh, simple basic math. Okay, uh, does anybody have any question on number one? And how about number two? No question on two. Number three. Hold on, Sam. Let me let me open up my my, and then let me check. Give me a okay. second. Okay. Okay. Certainly, Elizabeth. Go ahead. Okay, Sam, I'm good. Thank you. Okay, okay. So uh, there's no question number one, two, or three. Okay, I'm going to go to the next set. Okay, any question number four? Number five? Question on six. Yeah, I got number six wrong, um, okay. but I'm looking at your calculation. Yeah. Maybe that would help me understand it better. Okay. Um, so, so uh, yeah, so 1500 Hertz is the same thing as 1.5 times 10 to the third to the three Hertz. So we move in three decimal. So if we move the three decimal places from this point, one, two, three, that's how we got 10 to three. So 1.5 times 10 to three hertz. And 10 to, the, 10 to the three is the same thing as a kilo. Hey, Sam, I, I think it's because of the, at the end it's 10 to the negative three. Yes. I think that's supposed to be 10 to the third. No. 10 to the three would be oh, here kilo. and 10 okay. to the negative three. That would undo this here. Got it. And therefore we only have the 1500 Hertz, which is uh, what we have back up here, 1500 Hertz. Got it. Thanks for explaining that. Yes, you're Thank welcome. You. you follow Elizabeth? Oh yeah, I follow. I, I can see now um, oh, Okay. when you, you know, put yes. it in writing. Okay, yeah. But Any, I got it yeah. wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah, anything that you have questions, just kind of bring it up. So that way it's clear for you. Like I said, at the end of the semester, you're going to have to do the final exam. So some of these questions will come back. And so you make sure you know how to do the conversion correctly. Okay, great, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so next set. Okay, so this is just a basic general concept. So you got number seven, eight, and nine. So uh, yeah, you can definitely, uh, you, can, uh, you can Google the information that will give you the answer. Okay, so number seven would be very simple. It's that current equals voltage divided by resistance. That means if resistance goes down, the current goes up. That's why it's called inverse proportion, proportional, okay? 
So with uh, with the current and the resistance, it's reverse proportional. But if you look at the current and the voltage, then it is directly directly proportional. If you increase the current, you have to increase the voltage. Okay. So that's the concept here. Okay. So in this one here, they like said if you uh, in the circuit here, if you uh, if the resistance is double, so this one goes to two, and then therefore, and then the voltage stays the same. So therefore, the current would be half as much. Okay. So that uh, current would be one half. Okay. So that's uh, that's why the answer is A for number eight. Okay, and number nine, uh, this one is at the, to find out the VRMS. Uh, so VRMS, it goes to 0 0.707 times V peak to peak, okay? And that would take 0 0.707 times the 20 volt peak to peak. So, so this is 20 volt peak to peak. We need to go down to peak. So we take this one divided by two and then multiply against the 7.07. .07. So this divided by two would be 10, that's 10 volt peak times this would give you a 7.07 .07 VRMS, okay? That's why the answer is B for number nine. Okay, any question? Number seven, eight, or nine. Uh, hi, Mr. Yee, this is Leon Opara. Yes. Um, so you divided by two, was that because of the peak to peak? Yeah, because they this is peak to peak, then they want just the peak value, okay? So there you divided by two, then that would represent only one, it's only the, just the peak, either peak going up or you look at the peak going to bottom. So by divided by two, that's what you get. Okay. All right, any question? Okay, next set. Okay, so this is what um, a lot, uh, now some of the student that was able to go to lab, you learn about this and how to read the color code on resistor, okay? So uh, this would give you a little bit more help here if, you, if you're still not clear on. And if not, you know, like I said, uh, the handout from the website is really helpful. You know, like I said, if you need some extra help, you can always go to the, uh, go to the handout, go to the handout and you wanna click on DC fundamental, which is this one right here, open up. And this is the first. Uh, so this is a couple of the handout that you you that Mr. Fam went over, and so here is about the general resistor co color code. Okay, so this is the first digit, uh, so first digit and second digit and so on and so on. So you're going to use that to determine this here. So brown is one. On the first digit, second digit is green, so green is a five. And then the next one is yellow, so that would be 10 to the fourth, okay? 10 to fourth, and then the silver is plus or minus 10%, all right? So let me go ahead and maximize this once more, okay? So we know, and then uh, in order to uh, 10 now this one is 10 to the fourth so if we move one to zeros in front of um, after five that would be 150 and this would drop to 10 to the third 10 to the third represent kilo the k okay so therefore 150 kilo ohm. so that's for number 10 and number 11 it's just a basic uh this one is resistor in series so it just you take the resistor and add them up okay series series circuit you just r1 plus r2 plus r3 so 50 ohm plus 1000 ohm plus 75 ohms and that's give me 1125 so the answer is b for number 11. okay any question on 10 or 11. okay next set
Okay, any question on number 12 or 13? No, Sam, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Nobody's right. responding, so I'll respond. Yeah, we need to be more active. We need more people participation. Thank you, Elizabeth. Okay. Uh, next set. Okay. So you have the answer is down here, number 14, 15, and 16. And if you want to see how it works out, it's right up here. Uh, it's written. Calculate R total, I total, and VR, VR for six, Yeah. For 16, do you accept 26.6? Yeah, 26.6 be fine, or 26. Sam, would it be possible to actually give us like the, the range for tolerances? Uh, plus or, or minus, uh, yeah. Uh, with the look at uh, plus or minus 5%, uh, I think, uh, let me see, um, the check is, uh, okay, let me see, this one was the, uh, no, that's the, there, let me see, the test was here, uh, okay, so we'll go look at the quizzes, uh, let me see, the range is uh, plus or minus 5%, okay? Okay, thank so, you. You're welcome, so if you look at that, uh, let me see if I can enlarge that a bit. So this is the range that, uh, that was given to me from the instructor. So uh, hey, you have any answer between 85.5 to 95.94.5, no, okay? So if, you, if your okay. answer fall within, within those range, then you get, you get a point for it, okay? So like yes. I said, when I, yes, when I go through the test, that's what I do. I, I just go through and this is what I pull up from, from what you turn in. So if you look at all the student, this is what, all the answer that you, I just copy and paste it here and copy and paste it, uh, everything here. And then after that, I go through and compare the answer. So if like here, number four, it should be D. So I just look at for this uh, student, if not D, then you get a, a marking in orange here that's incorrect. And then that, and then I tally on the bottom here, how much, uh, how much you got correct, which is the student got 19. And, uh, and then I do the calculation that's come to 86.3. And that represents a B according to Mr. Fam grade scale here, okay? Okay. Okay. Hello. Yes, go ahead, Miguel. I cannot oh, no. hear uh, Sam. Uh, yeah, okay, Chef Fermet. You have a question, Chef Fermet? Any questions? I have a question. Yes, go uh, ahead, Jivan. Um, I take it this this is going to be um, uploaded onto YouTube, correct? That way we can just review like what we might have missed in case we need to review it again. Yeah, Mr. Fam is recording this. Okay, cool. Yeah, so if you need to uh, if you need the grade, you, you know, contact me or send me an email. Said I want uh, my quiz grade for quiz number one. Then I I will send you that information. Okay. So anything like that, uh, because not everybody need to know, because like I said, this class is, you're going to get credit, no credit at the end of the semester. So as long as you, as long as you do, um, as long as it, that, if you're doing well, um, we're not going to tell you your grade. It's just that you, you pass the test. If you failed, if you did not do so well, we ask you to go ahead and redo it and then resubmit it to get a better grade, okay? Dude, what did I miss? Uh, James, you miss everything. <laughs> uh, no, we're just going over the quiz number one, James. So you just definitely, you can go back and watch the, watch the video, okay, if you missed anything. Okay, so anybody have any question number 14, 15, or 16? No. Okay, okay. thank you. Okay, all right, so here's number 17, 18, and 19. So here's the answers down here. And if you want to see how, oops, uh, 
if you want to see how it works out, it's right up here. Oh, Number good. 17, 18 and 19, okay? If you need me to go explain a little bit more, let me know and so I can go over more. Okay. No, I got so, those right, yeah. Uh, I'm good, Sam, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, next set. Okay, this one's the last three. Oh, it's tough. It's tough, it's tough. Okay. Number 20, 21, and 22. Yeah, so I did. Uh, we have two other uh, two students that didn't do so well. They went and then re-uploaded, so they got better grade for for able to attempt keep on uh, attempting until until they did better. And there's one student that did not do it, and so therefore they keep the grade that they that was given. Okay. Okay. All right. So any other question or any question number twenty, twenty one, or twenty two. Me. Okay. But when you have time, could you please go back to number 13, please? Okay, 13, certainly. Okay, 13 is here. Okay. Now, 13, yeah, 13 is, is in parallel. It's uh, all resistant in parallel. And each resistance of the uh, same value on each one of them. So therefore, we just have to do is just take one resistant value divided by three branches, one, two, three, okay? And that's come to 16.7. Uh, okay. So okay. yeah, you can, you, you can do the long way or you can do the same uh, easy process, which is in this case, it's all of them of equal value. You just take it, just take from one branch and uh -huh. divided by number of branch. So there's 50 divided by branch number one, two, three. So divided by the three branch, that's uh -huh. how you get that here, 16.7. And the long way is really long. It yeah, the, uh, yeah, it's not too long. It just got uh, the R, to R total, R total, R total is equal to, it's going to be one divided by the quantity one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3, okay? You do that, do the substitution and do, do the calculation of everything in the num in denominator first, and then after they invert it, and then you should get the same value as, as this. Use the reciprocal button on your calculator. Thank you. You're welcome. One over 50 plus one over 50 plus one over 50. Thank okay. you. Keep on doing it, Mr. Smith. <laughs> I want to use my shortcut, okay? So just take any one of the branches, divide it by three, and you should get that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, any other question? Okay, well, back to you, Mr. Pham. Thank you very much. I do have one. Yes, go ahead, Alex. Uh, can you see if uh, I, I downloaded correct, correctly? Upload yeah, it. you yeah you did upload it. You did get a credit for it. Uh, let me see if I missed this stuff. Uh, okay. And you're done. Yes. Um. Uh, yes, I'm done. Yes, uh, Mr. Sir, yeah, you did turn it in. You did get the grade. Thank so you. you. Did, yeah, you did well. Okay. Thank you. Sir. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, basically, I just want to help your guy. Okay, you can watch the recording later on. For any student already know, you don't have to upload any assignment. But the quiz, if you see the question, you can answer right away without any more thinking, then you will okay to me. Okay? So now, we will go to the lecture for the today, okay? I try to go very, very slow. Make sure 
everyone understand it. Okay, so let's see, let me go into my iPad. Okay, so now we start with the electronics. We still get a few things in the DC circuitry, but it's not really need for you at this time. We'll be go back to one more day for the DC. That's more calculation, okay? like you will be learning about uh, superposition, Thevenin equivalent, okay, and a little more. But at this time, we want you to understand about electronic, okay? And when you go into the lab, in class lab, you done for the first circuit board DC fundamental. Then you will be assigned to working on for the new student. Then you're working on electronic form for the student start last summer, you will be also stuck in AC1 and AC2, only two circuit board, okay? The reason is we don't have enough the circuit board for maximum 32 students. So that's why. If you're working on electronic, okay, the other have to work in AC1 or AC2. We don't have enough money to buy on of the circuit board for 32 students. You know, that cost about 1500 for each circuit board. Okay, now we start with the basic thing we need to make sure you understand before we go into electronic. So this one we already talking to you about the sideway. This is a positive alternation and this is a negative saturation alternation. And from this time, to that one, that what we call a one cycle, a one period, okay? And this we're talking about a wavelength, same thing. However, the different age, this is a time domain, okay? You see that the time, 
and this is a distant meter. Okay, so the same thing that the one complete cycle, one wavelength. So when you learning for radio frequency, then we'll be going to that one. And also, whatever you want, make sure you have to understand the definition. So that's why I still given to you. What is the cycle? What is the frequency? Or what is the period? Okay. And what is the wavelength? So you're working on using oscilloscope. That will be time domain. Okay. And also that will be telling you the sideway display on the oscilloscope. Now, on oscilloscope will be the same. Okay. You can see you get a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight division for the MZ3. And for the time from the left to the right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, 10 division for the time. So now, if I'm looking into this oscilloscope here, they said they did play for one volt per division. So the V peak, that means from here to the top or from here to the bottom. How many division? One, two, three. Three times one volt. That's why V peak will be three volt. And V peak to peak means from the top to the bottom here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that means six volt. And that's the same thing equal two times of the V peak. Okay, and now if you want V I M at, you take a V peak times zero point seven zero seven. This just a formula you have to follow it. Don't ask me why. Okay, and also the average voltage. This is the formula. Okay, now for the time they say you're looking on the scope. They say one millisecond per division. Each division one millisecond period or one cycle will be from here to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and this a half, this a half, seven. So period will be seven millisecond. And then you want to get the frequency, then you have to use in the formula. One over T, that given you 142.8 hertz. Okay. So this is just for your guy to read. Okay. When you're working with the oscilloscope in the lab, that scope, that oscilloscope caught more than normal. That means that scope they can give to you. V peak to peak, given to you frequency, given to you VIMF. Okay? We given to you almost everything. In the analog scope, they not. Okay, so digital scope, they given you more information. You don't have to do your calculation. However, if you're working in analog scope, you want the frequency, then you have to do your calculation, one over F. Okay, now, 
we start with the diode. Okay, this uh, diode, they're using the silicon, okay, material. That's what they call P and Jensen. This is the P type, and this is N type. N type contain negative electron. P time positive, okay? So you understand the how come we get the current, the thing, the electron moving. Okay, like in the copper, you get the electron. You heat it up, if you touch it, they will be hot. Electron moving, okay? So, in order to get the current, you get electron moving. That's what they call electron current. However, we're using conventional current. Current all the time will be from positive to negative. Okay? And you see that area here. This is a separate between P, Thai, and Thai. The pleasant region. Okay? So if they wider, that means you get no current. If the smaller electron able to move from n tie to the p tie, and you get current. Now, this is a physical for the diode. Okay? And now you see this is a symbol. This is a symbol for the diode. Every time you see this symbol, you know, this is a diode, and this is anode, and this is cathode, okay? And the voltage between point A, anode, and C, cathode, calculate VD. VD means diode voltage. Equal basic definition, VA minus VC, okay? And that's what they call a voltage across diode. Diode normally permit electron current flow only in one direction, okay? That means current only go, electron current go from N to P, cannot move from P to N. And same thing, conventional current telling you in the current, conventional only flowing from a anode to cattle, they cannot be voted. One way only. So make sure when we go through each phase, if you get any question, just bring it up. Okay, any comment, anything, just let I, me know. We I, have, to... I have a question. Mr. Yeah, Tham. I'm curious then, do you in a full DC only circuit where you're only using batteries, would you ever need a diode? Is a diode only used when you're going from AC to DC? A diode can be using for DC and AC, doesn't matter. However, only thing you must be make sure if the voltage at the A have to be higher than the voltage at C, how big that voltage will be coming next phase, okay? If A higher than C, current will be flowing from A to C. AC current, DC current doesn't matter. And that's why you can see the very practical thing in your car, okay? When your car, you get the diode in there, okay? When you turn on your car, you need the car battery, 12 volt, DC. However, 
at that time, okay? Then the diode will be off. So when your car running, even you can take out the car battery, they still running, okay? And when they running, the machine will be recharged into your diode. That means at that time, diode still on. When your car battery get up to the certain voltage, 12 or 13 volt, diode will be open. Okay? They no longer charge to your car battery. So that's only telling you diode will be allow any current, AC or DC, a voltage going from A to C. Okay? Now, next one. First, ideal approximation. What they what they talking about ideal? Ideal that means you can see the here permit current flow from anode to cathode. Okay. Ideal diode that means VD around here is zero. They don't care of any voltage here. When you apply input here, higher than input here, they allow current flow. Okay? And revert buyer, that will be telling you if the negative on this side, that the cathode higher than anode, they open. And now you can see what happened what happen if they open? Look like inside they open. Reverse buyer. No current can be flowing from A to C. Okay? And when they forward buyer, they forward it, that means they are. That means they allow current go from A to C. Okay? So that is, you need to understand when we set the diode off or reverse buyer. That means no current can flow in from A to C. When the diode on or forward buyer, they're telling you, okay, current can be flowing from A to C. Okay, any question? Now, that is a different second approximation. Second approximation, that means the diode voltage VD equal 0 0.7 volt. Okay, that means the voltage at the anode have to be higher than cathode 0 0.7 volt in order for the current can be flowing. Okay, you can see that forward buyer. That means the voltage anode have to be higher than cathode 0 0.7. Okay, then the current can flow. Otherwise, they will be open, they still be off or revert buyer. So now you can see bit, the difference between ideal and second approximation. You're not working with the ideal. You're working with the second approximation for the diode to be turned on. That means they connect from A to C. You must get at least from A to C higher than 0 0.7, okay? Otherwise, they will be off. That is how they can be on, how they can be off normally. Any question? 
Okay, now. You're looking in Judith circuitry here. <coughs> you get the <coughs> power supply and both connect to 1K <coughs> and you get a dial. And they gave them to you. Wanted across the diode, 0 0.7 volt. Okay, question A, if you're looking into this circuitry, can you tell me, diode on or off? On. 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 Yeah, on. on. The region A, if you don't have a diode, what won't it here? Uh. No dial. Okay, VR equal. How many volt? In board. Um, Perfect. Ten volt. Okay. Now you get this in a ten volt, and the other side ground will be zero volt. So you know the VD, VA, minus VC, 10, minus zero. Right? 10 minus zero. You get 10 volt. They will be greater than 0 0.7. So they will be on. Okay. So when they on, the voltage across here will be 0 0.7. So now they want V out. What we are equal? Nine point three. Ha! Come on. Yeah, nine point three. Yeah. Who tell me what we are equal? Zero point seven. Point seven. Point seven. Exactly. We are equal zero point. Even more. Now I can tell you when you want to measure the voltage of your car battery, how many volts you get support you? Normally 12, right? Yes. Okay. That's only telling you even. That car battery connect into the circuitry inside your car. However, what I want to tell you, when you measure the voltage across the battery, no matter what, you will be get that value of your battery. So now we want to get see, I want to say V out. You connect positive in here and negative in the route that only you can get is 0 0.7. The thing is that the voltage across the dial. Okay, now calculate the current. I What the formula? V over R. Normally, you try to remember of law. V divide to R. Correct? Yes. Okay, now in this case, 
V will be buyer. Divide. Sorry. Just a minute. Okay, V buyer divide R. Okay, now we need to know V buyers. That means the wanted here. Nine point three. Okay, now I just talking about formula first. That will be equal to what? I equal B plus E. V by a, right? Minus V out. Divide R. That means the voltage across the register means the difference between this side and this side. Okay? Divide to that register. So that will be get, okay? 10 minus 0 0.7 divide 1k. So you know that will be uh, 9.3. 9.3 million, million. Yeah, 9.3. You divide kilo ohm. <coughs> you get million. <coughs> okay. Okay. You know number four V a cross R will be nine point three. So any question on example number one? Anything confusing? Anything do not follow it? Go ahead and ask it. Hopefully everyone. Really want to learn to be clear to your guy. That's what I want. Mr. Fan? Yeah. Okay. Um, I see where with uh, uh, V bias, you have uh, 10 volts. Okay. Then it goes to the resistor. There's supposed to be then a, a voltage drop, right? Perfect. Okay. So the voltage drop is 0 0.7. No. Okay. They not the voltage drop across the resistor at not zero point seven. Okay. In order to do it, you want to calculate the VR. Then you have to take a different voltage between one side. Okay. This side and this side. That's what I say. Okay, V by R <coughs> minus V out. That means the voltage here. So the, so there wasn't a voltage drop. It was uh, 10 volts on either side. 10 volt minus V out 0 0.7. I guess that's the right. voltage drop. A drop I guess, I guess Regita. Yeah, I guess that's what's getting confused because what the, you voltage, mean? the voltage dropped in was 0 0.7 volts then. Now uh, what do you mean? Won't the drop a drop the resistor? Yeah. Mr. Not 0 0.7. Mr. Fam, I think he's confused with that 10 volt that's next to the V out on your diagram. Okay. In the top right. I have, to, I have to delete that. There you go. Yeah. The zero point seven comes from the diode, dude. Yeah, yeah I understand. But I'm 
That means zero plus seven here. That means ten here. Right. Got it? I see now. Yeah, then the, then, yeah, after the voltage out of 0 0.7, that's why you get a current of 9.3 uh, going through the diode. Yeah, 9.3 means the voltage drop across the resistor. Yeah, I got it. Thank okay. you. Number two. Same circuitry, I just revoke the diode. Okay. Number one, diode on or off. Time. Okay, now, without the diode, what the voltage here? It's off. Is it right? Oh. Correct. No diode. So you get the five here, you get the zero voltage here. Okay, the diode voltage VD equal this. Okay, two zero mm. minus five. Minus five. So it's going to be of oh. minus five volt. Let then zero point seven volt. So the diode will be off. Okay. Okay. Now, what is the V out? Five volt. Perfect. Now you get it. Okay. Number three, calculate the current I. Two. Zero. Okay. Zero. Two, yeah. The thing is the diode off, open circuit. Okay, I give a note in here, open. Open, that means no current can be flowing. Okay. Last one. Wanted a cross register. So, will we? So, why the zero? There is no current in the circuit. Yeah. V R will be I time R. I equal zero. That Y. V equal zero. I put in here. I equal zero. V equal R time I. Okay. So every one we get through it, I again, any question, any confusion, anything. The thing is that level is not the same. Sometimes the people are a little slower. That, don't worry, just bring it up. Then I try to help you out. And also this week we have a no quiz. I want to get more time for me to get a little more into electronic, okay? So any question here? No, all no. right. Oh. Yeah, what? Okay. Number three. 
okay diode on or off on off <laughs> on <laughs> off okay now without the diode okay V here equal what voltage? If you don't have a diode here, five volt. Five volt. Okay. So VD equal five minus. Minus three volt. Oh. Okay. Less than zero point seven. Diode will be up. Go to nine. Zero. Two. Zero. Zero air. The diode up, they will be open. No current can be flowing in the open circuit. Okay, next one. They just want to know the diode will be forward on or reverse off. I want to make sure in here you guys understand a forward same thing on revert up um on off in the up they will be on or off um diode will be on How come I know they are? You can see this is a zero. This is a minus a hundred. Okay, so VD here, zero, okay. Minus, minus a hundred. They will be equal to plus a hundred. Greater than zero point seven volt. So it all. Okay, question. Okay, if it's not, so we have, all night. Yeah, we had the positive ground. Is that was that that's what it was? Ground is zero, zero volt. In order to be Decide the diode on or off, you have to know the difference between the anode and the cathode of the diode. Okay. Okay. If they higher than 0 0.7, in this case, they are. Otherwise, they are. 
Okay, now you can see another dial. Okay, we say uh, it is a Zeno, Zeno dial. This is a symbol. Okay, anode and the cathode here. And if you're looking into breakdown diode here, okay, if the diode, you know, they break it down. That means this side positive and this side will be negative. And the voltage here, they call a V, G, you know, Break down. Now, when you go in to buy the voltage, uh, sorry, for the diode, then they have to ask in you what the Gina voltage you want. I given you an example. This Gina VG 10 volt. Okay, so now that battery here will be 10 volt. When they talking about breakdown, that only thing is any voltage here higher than 10. For example, you get 15 volt. Then the Zeno will be break down. That means you cannot see 15 volt here. You will be see only 10 volt. They cut it off. So that will be telling you the application. If you want the voltage applied to the circuitry, you say cannot be more than 10. You have to connect 10 volt Zeno. So any apply voltage higher than 10, they will be Break down. That means V G equal ten volt. No matter what the voltage you apply. That the, the purpose of the Zeno diode. And if you're working on the power supply, you can see that on the power supply to your computer, you get five volt applied to your computer. So the voltage go to your computer, they must get the Zeno connection at the value five volt. Any voltage higher than five, they cut it down to only five volt. Otherwise, that will be damaged to the computer. So I hope you can understand why we need the Zeno. So when I said Zeno diode break down, that will be telling you on this side will be positive, on this side will be negative. The value depending on Zeno. Make sure that should be clear for your guy. When you see the symbol, you know that is a Zeno dial. And if they break down, what happened? Okay. Now, if they normally dial 
okay? Then they look like this symbol here. And this side will be positive. This side will be negative, like normal dial. Question, Mr. Fan? Yeah. Or xeno diodes have more of a sensitive current rating? No, we don't care about that thing. That means you will be going into more uh, detail on that for designer. Designer, they decide to know more detail, like the information you want to know. However, technician who care. Only thing I really care, you looking in the symbol. You know this is the Zeno. And if the, what happened if you they break down? Or what happened if they working like normal? That's what I want. Now I given you the example here. Okay. That is the one. Okay, and the last one. Okay, try to get through this one. The fourth one, what we are? 5.1. Five Number two. Number three. Number one, what we are? 5.1. Five point one. Five point one. Five point one. Perfect. We out. If you not understand, let me know. We out here. Three. 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 Okay, they open. Okay, last one. Point seven. What we have? Point seven, bro. Zero point seven. Perfect, you really understand.
Okay, now in this way, okay, you can see the voltage here. So this side zero volt, this side negative, the diode on normal. On normal, that means you can see right here. So you get a battery. Negative, positive, that will be my not 0 0.7, not 0 0.7. Okay. Just a normal, that means this is a positive, this is a negative. So basically, the VD here equal minus zero point seven. Okay. So the zero they can be break down. They can be open, or they can be working like normal diode and on this picture here i already given to you this is the breakdown how they look like this is they just a working normal okay how they get that kind of voltage if they open that means no current can be flow through the diode anyway Mr. Fam, I had a question. Yeah, go ahead. Could you go over the um where it says diode on normal again? Why why was it um why 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 was it normal for that one? Why they normal? Yeah. Okay, you can see this symbol here. Okay. If I say VG, five volt, okay? Now I connect this to round. And this side will be minus any voltage. Okay, so on this side, you get a zero volt. On this side, you get a minus three. Minus three cannot higher than five volt. So the zener cannot break down. And they like the regular diode. When the difference between anode and the cathode, higher than 0 0.7. So they on normal. On normal, that means now you can say this is the circuit normal. Okay, I got it, thank you. Yeah, anything not clear, just bring it up. We don't have a much chance to try to go over, over and over. I think a lot of things we have to study. Okay. If no more question, and make sure I hopefully this weekend I can get the lab phone schedule for next week will be on the handout, you can go to the handout and you can open that. You can see 
the date, what time you get into the lab, what time, what type of the circuit board on the lab, what lab number, okay? Then we don't have to spend time in you. The thing is we need the time for the lecture. Okay, any more questions? I can stop this guy. Mr. Pham, so this week uh, the uh, lab is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, correct? Right, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And Friday back on Zoom. Right. I want to get more story in the lab to talking to you on Friday. <coughs> if you complain something, you say something, we need to improve it. Let me know. I will be let the instructor do it. Uh, Mr. Fan? Yeah. Uh, can you post this recording uh, tonight? on the website yeah i will thank you and also very soon i will get a one more day lecture in the zoom try to teach your guy how to working on the lab system okay Yay. that mean I'm not teaching you, okay, one by one, but a certain circuitry, we pick it up. But I try to teach you what? I will be teaching you, okay? First thing I can ask you, your circuit, the way you build, correct or not? Okay? Why? The thing is what you're doing, your lab on that block, you say, they say apply sideways one kilohertz, for example. And then you're using the oscilloscope to measure the output. You enter, they say, incorrect. That means something wrong, okay? Then I will be teach you how to solve that problem. That means I have to telling you, first thing I say, looking in your circuit you build, is it the same exactly what the circuit they want, okay? Uh, bye, Mr. Pham. Hello? No, what? Uh, 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 bye, Mr. Pham. Okay. And if you say, okay, correct, I suppose to be connect circuitry right, then I will be telling you, you take your at this point input, what you think you get. You can say, okay, one volt, one kilo hug. Okay? I say, exactly that correct. So when you measure the output, you're using scope channel two. You get incorrect. Now, what can we do? First thing I'm telling you, I want to make sure your scope channel two is working. How do we do? Who know? Tell me. You're using channel one to measure the input, it's correct. You're using Canon to you measure the output incorrect. Switch? 
first thing I will be asking you. Okay. I want to know the oscilloscope on channel two working or not. How can we do? Well, you switch over to uh, channel two, right? Okay, now either way, who knows you can do? You can connect channel two to the input the same channel one. They support to be display exactly the same signal. Right? That makes sure you don't have a problem with your oscilloscope with your scope pro. You agree that? Then now how come you connect into the output you cannot get that you want. So now the problem is in the circuitry. What we try to do is isolate one by one. And in the circuitry, I can tell you where you measure, what you support to get. Okay? That means we try to teach you how to troubleshoot it when the output is not right. You get that? Yeah. The thing is, I will be taking same time. That means five to seven to the, on one of the day. So in that day, you guys still working in club lab, however, who not working the lab on that day, you can be on the Zoom. Or whoever need to learn, you know, how to troubleshoot it. Then you still be in that section. In order to do it, you know what I have to do. I just bought the camera. Got to me 700. Whoa! That's my money, not a school. Maybe school can buy for me, but take a couple months, maybe end of a semester. So we want to do it now. And now what I need to do is try to set it up. When ready, then we can get one more day, two hours for the trouble shooting. Okay? So, yeah, got it. Yeah. That is the best I can do for the student. Thank you, Mr. Pham. No problem. Okay. Yeah, good night. Okay, before Thank we go, you, Mr. Good night. Pham. Good night. Okay, before we go, okay, this is okay. for all the brand new students that just come on the board and you're asking about all the homework and everything. So what you want to do is go go to a website. Let me go ahead and Okay, so you go to the website. Remember, the website for our class is electronic. Let me type it out so you can see. So it's going to be electronicstech.com. Okay, you're going to type this here in the browser right on top here. Now we use Google Chrome. So if you use different, um, if you use a different type of search engine, that's fine but uh, each one function differently, but we mainly for the class, we use Google Chrome, okay? You type in the search, uh, you type in the, uh, the browser right up here, and then after you click it, and it will bring into this class, into everything that is here on the website. It would show you if you need to, if you need question that you need to answer, you contact the head instructor, Mr. Hua Pham, he's our head instructor. And his email, if you need to contact him, contact him by email. If you don't need the information um, right away, send an email to him. If you need information right away, contact him through his phone number. And all your class schedule, it will be show up every, it will be updated every week on here, okay? okay. So if you, know, if you need to find out what's going on, you look in here, you look in here. 
and you look at what subject is being covered and therefore you can always go to the handout and pull up the on the handout it's going to be right here rectification so you want to read that before you come to class for the lecture so you can be prepared for the lecture okay got it and so then just the, kind of, so, so at just the beginning to, yeah at the beginning just kind of be able to navigate just uh you know when you come in here just click through the menu here what what we have to offer and like i said contact would be here uh now this is like the class location this is a physical class location and if you need to contact the mid city here is the mid city office location and if you need to do something uh, this is the best place to contact okay and like I said, Mr. The instructor's phone number is here. Uh, so if you need to contact, so look at that. Now, if you want to look at the calendar, if you need to find out the holiday, you can click on calendar and just kind of skip to go to next and next and you can see what day is going to be off or we're going to be closing the class. So there won't be any, uh, you won't be having any class session. Okay, just kind of be able to do like navigate through and everything that um, for you brand new student that you missed, so everything it's it's all here okay so it's been dated so you have to do is just click on one of them and just watch that video and that and then it's also teach you to go and then go get from the handout uh, this information during the lecture and the video okay so it's a, so if you click on the first video here it would take you to youtube and this here would pops up and everything is recorded here okay got it Okay. Okay. So just all the information is on the website. Uh, we can easily catch back up on everything we've missed um, for the last week and a half by going to the handouts uh, tab and also to the videos tab, correct? Yeah. So you have the video here and everything on the video, it's, uh, it's based on the handout. So you look at this first week. So you watch this first, first week one and date it. And then you want, then watch the next one. This is the second one after this one. Okay. Yes. And this and then, one was, uh, this one was, uh, that was Friday. Yes. So and since we missed yeah. the, uh, since we missed the quiz, um, should I still try to uh, do the quiz and fill it out or should yeah, I just do just, it for myself? Yeah, just get, yeah, just do your best at it. It will be on this first, uh, it's, uh, on the first day here. Okay. okay. Yeah, just okay. do it. And then uh, if you do, uh, like I said, just do your best. And then you can uh, just check with the answer that uh, that I given today, okay? okay. And so, uh, and then just continue on from here. You know, uh, from here on, uh, since you're participating class, make sure you up upload those assignments. Now, these are I'm I'm going to the home page. Now, these are the assignment that you can do. Uh, so, assignment number one, two, three, and this what you, if you do this assignment, it would help you prepare for the quizzes. Okay. Got it because this is a, if you have any question on the homework you bring it up during the lecture and then ask for some extra help and we'll help during the lecture okay sure. and so that way get you prepared for the quiz also, and then, yes go ahead mr fam also make sure i let you know mcm7 simulation really need for everyone so i will be also teach your guy how to run it simulation for the circuitry and how to collect the data if you know how to do that simulation that will be help you to do the real lab in the class a identical a how to measure voltage how to measure the current how to using oscilloscope to measure V-peak or peak to peak or period, okay? Mm -hmm. Whatever. So that's why I will be also spend time. Okay, now back to the assignment. Say, for example, assignment number one, you click that and it will uh, populate down here. You wanna do it, just click on it to open it up. Uh, okay, so it's opened up. So here it shows up and then you want to click on the top here. It said enable editing. So you click on that to, uh, to enable you to in. So you come in here, click on that. Now you can edit this. Now you can put in your student. You put your name here. So for example, this is me. 
Now this is a question. Now you got the question number one. So you're going to do going through and then you do this. Uh, okay, let me go and enlarge this a bit. Okay, so you're going to be just try to do your best here. So you have number you solving this equation here by using the handout from the from the classroom. Okay, so yeah. Uh, let me go. So from your home page, your handout, you're going to use this uh, from the handout here. And that would help you to do that uh, assignment. Okay. Okay. And then this, the assignments are under uh, what tab? Again? It's under home. Yeah, it should be under home. It should be under home. Okay, under home. Home menu. Uh, yes. And the home menu. And you click that and you come and work. It's, it's So this is all multiple choice. So you just have to do it. Uh, here it's easy to do. It just okay. If I say okay, this one is that scientific notation. I know the first one is not going to be. This one is not. The only one that's possible is this one, yeah. right here. So I type in the letter B and press enter on your keyboard, and you can see you got one point right up here. Said so that is correct. Okay. So the total on this one has total of thirteen. So if you get all thirteen points. Mm -hmm. This status would change from fail to pass. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's when you start to save this whole thing and then you're going to upload to the website. Okay. So here, where you go back into the website and you want to do it, just go here and, and come up to these uh, menu set upload file. Click on that. You come in here, you type in your name. Okay. So your first name, last name and then uh and then say choose file and then say mine's already been saved say mine was a zero one tw fall 2021 basic math so that's assignment one so that's what i'm going to put here so assignment one fall 2021 basic math and that's it you want to keep the title just like the one that is on there right now so you don't want to change it but you want if you do you know to make sure that you know how to identify and the instructor can identify quickly and you put it there and then just click on this green button say upload okay and upload now it's going to my file and to find and then later on when you have so many assignments say that if you go back into the uh go back into the back into the main here now you go into here you have a lot of assignment you don't you know you don't know which one you turn in Mm -hmm. you want to do is click on the you want to do is goes in uh let me see that uh let me see what uh, it was here and then you want to do is like i said upload and you click and you type in your name here last name and then you want to do is just come down here say click on retrieve and to see your are the assignment that is up upload into your file so Here's the one that I just uploaded a minute ago, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's how it is. And then you can compare to whatever is on the website and which one that you're missing and that you need to complete that and upload to the website, okay? okay. So that's how you do upload all the assignments. Okay, let me see what else on the chat. Is the raise hand option not available for question? Uh, uh, there is, I do not know. I haven't tried that yet, Lo. Uh, I didn't see that today. Uh, let me see, look. Uh, yeah, it it should be able to. I do not know if that's still available. So uh, yeah, is any other question or? Yeah, I got another question. Um, yes, so those of us that can't attend the lab, is it going to be recorded just for what the instructor is doing, or we just have to wait? Um, yeah, wait until the yeah. lecture on Friday. Yeah, you had to wait. Uh, yeah, you had to wait, like Mr. Fam said. You have to submit your COVID uh, shot to the to the main office, and then when when they put it into the system, and then then they say they would give a clearance, confirm that the student is clear. Then the instructor would get your name, and then they would be able to assign you to a lab, and then you can then you'd be able to go to the lab. Okay, so for the moment now, um, we're just gonna have to wait until uh, Friday. Yeah, so you want to do, attend. yeah, you, everybody is required to attend the Zoom lecture, okay, which you are in right now, Zoom lecture. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah, that's it for me.
Okay. Appreciate Good. all the information. All Thank right, you. you're welcome. Okay, so any other question not clear? Okay. All right. Yeah, Lo, I see your hands up. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's it, Mr. Fam. Thank you. Okay. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night.